A sequence is an ordered collection of data. Elements in a sequence may or may not be indexed. Example of sequence are array, list, and a vector. An array contains elements of same type. Arrays are fixed in size and contain an ordered sequence of data. Array values are contiguous in memory, which means that the values are stored in consecutive memory addresses. Array elements are indexed by position. In the code shown on the screen, variable language is an array which contains three elements of a string type, Ruby, SQL, and Python. We access array elements by their indexes. Arrays have a zero-based index. To access the first element, type, languages, bracket, zero. Arrays in Scala are mutable. We can change the values at specific indexes. To change SQL to C++, type, languages, one, equals C++. To iterate over array elements, we can use the for loop. Let's iterate over languages array. Copy the code displayed on the screen. As you can see, each element of the languages array gets printed on the screen. The left arrow operator is called generator. We are iterating over the languages array one by one assigning the element's value to x and printing it. List in Scala represents a linked list having elements such that each element has a value and pointer to the next element. These lists have poor performance as data could be anywhere in the memory. Compared to an array, a list is very flexible as you do not have to worry about exceeding the size of the list. Theoretically, lists are unbounded in size, but practically their size is limited by the memory allocated to the JVM. Let's do a hands-on and create a list of integers 1, 2, and 3. Type var number list equals list bracket 1, 2, 3 bracket closed. To add a new element to the list, type number underscore list colon plus 4. As you can see, element 4 is added to the list. Let's try to change the value at index 1. Type number underscore list bracket 1 equal 7. We have got an error. We cannot change the value since lists are immutable. A set in Scala is a bag of data with no duplicates. Also, the ordering is not guaranteed in sets. Let's create a set with integers 76, 5, 9, 1, and 2. Let's add 9 to it. Since duplicates are not allowed in sets, 9 is not added to the set. Let's add 20. We can see that 20 is added to the set. Note the order of 20. As discussed, set does not guarantee ordering. Set 5 will result in boolean true as 5 is present in the set. Set 14 will result in false as 14 is not present in the set.